Hi everyone, welcome back. So we're going to do this a little backwards today. <laughs> so I'm doing the Facebook Live first, and then I'm going to um, upload these into my shop. I had a problem this morning with the files, so I've just been um, rearranging them so they fit my listing. Um, one of the kits, guys, is 60 pages, so I had a hard time working that in. So I just wanted to let you know. I'm going to quickly load our video. Actually, I can't do that yet. I have to get my internet on this other phone. So I'm going to have to wait for my husband to be able to do that. So I won't be able to see your comments um, right away, but I will answer them after if you have any questions. And if you want to say hi to me, then I will um, respond after our video. So I'm really excited, guys. I have two new kits that are coming immediately after this live to my shop. Th this one here is the first one. It is 60 pages, and it is called Grungy Tattered Roses. So I'm really, really excited. And the other new kit is our Grungy Mixed Media Backgrounds Kit 2. So I'm really excited to show you guys these two new kits. And this one is 30 pages, and Grungy Tattered Roses is... 60 pages. So there's 90 pages total between the two kit. And I discussed this with my husband and I feel like, um, so this is like two kits and one guys. So it's 60 pages and typically my kits are usually around 20 to 30 pages for a kit. And I charge $10 Canadian in my shop. So this is going to be like a little thank you for everyone because um, I get, you know, like with our economy right now and the way things are going and just everything in general and you go, and your generosity with my shop guys. I can't, you know, if it wasn't for you guys supporting my shop, I wouldn't be able to do this. So as my thank you, I'm only going to charge $10 Canadian for this kit. So it's like getting a free kit because it's, it's 60 pages guys. So it's like having paying for 30 pages like you would normally do, but you're getting a bonus 30. So this is going to be listed in my in my shop for, for the same $10. So I just wanted to share that. And I'm going to flip through quickly of the kit. This has a lot of script. This kit is not really so much meant to be full. You can. I mean, you can some of the pages. You could fold them in half and, um, and um, do portions of it like that for your journal. But this is more of... Um, a project kit or a collage kit so basically you can take bits and pieces and you can rip them and tear them all different ways and use them in your mixed media and and of course your journal projects so these are more for layering and for making pockets and for collaging and doing all kinds of things and I have all sorts of that's why you'll see each page has all sorts of different kind of elements all blended in some faded in and out and I love how I did this script because as you can see it's not legible script so it's super fun it's not actual words it's just like a script of um, random shapes and letters if you guys can see that so when you collage with it it can be part of a focal point without it spelling like words and stuff because a lot of the script especially our script stamps I find that's hard to find. So you'll, you're going to still be able to pick out words here and there. So with this kit, I was really mindful not to have like any words showing. So I just wanted to share that. It's just like random um, jumbles and blocks of, um, of different kinds of script. And um, it's more of like a mixed media script. So I just wanted to share that. And of course, the focal point in this entire kit being tattered, grungy roses. Okay. Here's the next one, and they all have like a mixed media feel. So again, this would be great for the back of a folio or the front of a folio, something where you don't quite need the whole page, but you still need like a big enough area. And I've got my mixed media feel. It's kind of like a layered sort of paint gesso kind of feel and um, splatters here and there. So I love, I love the effect. So again, like you could use a piece like this. Or you could use, this is your focal point, or even this part here is your focal point. So there's so many different things that you can do. So I'm going to be doing some projects coming up with this. 
to give you guys some ideas, but this is probably going to be one of my new favorite kits, guys. So again, you have the, all the different sort of loose looking, um, loose looking roses, and then you have the one here. And I wanted to do things large enough too, guys, that you could make that into a tag. You could make that into like, um, you know, like, like how we, we do in our, um, our traveler's notebook size kind of thing. So it has all sorts of different elements where you can do a billion different things. Or you could just, again, take bits and pieces of it and add it to your work. And I wanted to share, because I've had some confusion about my angel policy, guys. You can use my kits any way physically that you like. So physically, as long as it's a tangible make, a mixed media project, or um, anything like a journal, um, you could do a can you could do canvas work. You could incorporate my designs into your artwork, and you can sell your work. So I'm good with that. The only thing you can't do is just digitally alter my files, and um, so like take this and then start adding stuff to it to make it your own kit. You can't do that digitally, and um, so that's a no no. And um, reselling it as your own, or um, or um, using my designs digitally in any way. So that's, so that's what's um, forbidden or for you to file share my files or, um, for you to, um, like, um, mass print it and then sell it. You can't do that either. So anything, basically anything that would affect the sales of my shop. So I just wanted to share that, but you can use my work physically in any tangible make that you, that you create. And you can sell your products. So I'm fine if you wanted to, say, print my kit 10 times to make 10 journals and put them into your, your Etsy shop and sell them. So there's no, um, there's no limit on that either. I don't say you can only print this so many times a year. If this was the only kit that you wanted to work from for the next 10 years and print it and make different things, all the power to you. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. So that's essentially what my angel policy is. So again, just super fun elements. You can take bits and pieces. I love this. It almost looks like faux washi tape. So I mean, there's so many things. Like this could be your focal point here, starting in an art journal with um, with the, just this little piece here. And then you can build on it with other things. So again, it's meant to be ripped, torn, um, t and, and teared into different elements. That would even make a really neat pocket here going across a page like that, how it has this little element here. There's so many things that you could do. And then this one here, again with the script. This almost looks like penmanship. So I really like how that looked. I've been playing with this new, um, this new feature that I have in my on my drawing tablet where I'm creating, you'll see it throughout the kit, where I'm creating these tattered effects in the paper. It's like a rip in the paper. So I just wanted to share that. This one here is a partial photograph. That's an old Bible that my parents have. So it's a partial photograph that I've taken of that, and then I've brought it in and made, um, again, a photo of roses, and then my mixed media sort of background. So again, I do use a combination of photography with some of my, um, with some of my work, so I just wanted to share that. And um, same thing, we've got our script in here, lots of mixed media, our roses. I wanna get through this kind of quickly, guys, so I'm just gonna keep flipping. Same thing, we have a rippled effect from our mixed media. Just a lot of fun. And this one here too with our mixed media background, the tattered edges. I'm using filters. This is kind of like, um, almost like a crackled effect. Torn papers. And again, you could use this like in pieces. Just to show you here, look, you could use that in pieces this way. You could use it in a piece this way. Or you could cut out this little section here, tear it, rip it. I mean, there's so many things that we can do. And there's so many different ways. So some of them, again, will work as your journal pages. Some of them will, but not all of them. Like the ones with the larger uh, roses like this are more just, this is just me basically meant to be like a collage sort of kit. But again, you could fold them in half and make them, um, work into journal pages and there are 60 pages so there's so many options and i've done all kinds of different things giving us that mixed media grungy sort of effect i absolutely love how this kit turned out and even in half that would be cool if you guys can see you get part of the rose this way and then you get part of the rose that way so again that's really cool and again the 
sort of script that I've added in here where it's like not legible. This is one of my favorites. It's just torn, tattered, grungy, dark. I love it. And again, you could cut, you could fussy cut the roses and put them into your own thing or just even use just little sections of the background. It's so fun. This one here. I just love how these turned out. And there's 60 pages, so there's lots to choose from. So again, with those kind of being this way, you could fold that in half like this. And then again, like that. So just to share, that's how that looks. This is, um, the, and this is the only kit in my shop that isn't available for print and ship because it's 60 pages. So I just wanted to share that. I can't do that for free, guys, um, with 60 pages because this used um, quite a bit of my ink. So I just wanted to share that because it's so big. There we go. This one here, I love that with the, it's kind of linear looking. And then the, the grungy sort of background. I hope I'm in frame, guys. And then I have the, the florals all here. Oh, and I'll show you guys. Um, so these face different ways. That's it this way, and that's it that way. So again, you could do something on your sharing wall if you wanted to, or you're putting them together like this to create like an even balanced effect. Or if you're doing a larger journal, they go together. So that's the other thing too. A lot of times we like to do journals that have flips and flaps. So I've made the pages that some of them work together perfectly. So I just wanted to share that, giving those two options there. And some of them are, they're, they'll have that similar um, golden gr uh, brown grungy sort of feel to them. So, I mean, you could really pair up anything. So I just wanted to share that. And it, I love that scripted grungy sort of background. This is another one of my favorites where I've done all these like mixed media elements in here and added um, golden um, sand textures. If you guys can see that, these are gold coins. And I've added all kinds of um, just different things. Um, and, and when I did this kit, I really focused on what sort of grungy elements that I could um, incorporate. And this is scheduled to fold perfectly in half, guys. So I just wanted to show that. So this could very well be a journal page or again, rip it, tear it, however you like. And it's all kinds of different, um, different elements that I've incorporated. And I've never seen a kit like this. So I just wanted to share that. So I'm trying to do, um, things that are a little bit more innovative, I think. And I'm really focusing on what are the sort of elements and things that I'm looking for in a kit when I'm creating my vintage grunge style. So I just wanted to share that. And then I'm going to be making all kinds of projects with these next coming kits um, coming. So I just wanted to share that. So that's kind of what we're going to do in September. So anyone that purchases, purchases these kits, they can follow along with me. So essentially, that's how I wanted to do it. So if you bought this one and this one, it's like getting paid 30 pages free in this one. So I just wanted to share that. Because I'm listing them both for $10. Sorry, this one and this one. And I'll go through this one next. Okay, and this one here, again, is the grungy, tattered roses, and I love that. I've added some more script different ways in here, so I use different effects. Um, there's like a steampunk sort of element here that's faded into the background, all sorts of mixed media, grungy sort of feel, and then um, the tattered roses. And um, I didn't create any of these, this work physically. This is all Photoshop, so I just wanted to share that. Photoshop in my drawing tablet program. Actually, there's two programs, so I just wanted to share that for my drawing tablet. Um, this one here, again, to look like, like a page raised out of, like um, almost like a wallpaper grungy background, and then I have the loose roses all here. There we go. This one here is meant to just be cut like into squares or like into little elements. So you could use these as little cards that you tuck in or you could, um, again, if you wanted to um, do different elements where you're creating like little pockets or tucks, this is a great kit to get. Yeah, there's 12 elements here. So there's 12 little um, separate elements to get different little pieces of things. So again, you can use that for just about anything or as is folded directly in half like that as your journal pages. And I love how I did that here with the blues and the turquoise and the grunge. 
I love that, the sort of like patina look. And then here I have this one, and again, different scripts and different fonts and different uh, textures. So this one is very textural. So I just wanted to share that. And again, smaller here, bigger over here. This is a cute spot. Like you could even use this if you were doing like a scrapbook page. You could use that as like a photo, a photo layout if you wanted to. Or if you wanted to um, add a photo into your journal, that'd be a great spot. Or even some writing. So I just wanted to share that. And again, it would go in half. Sort of like that. Just to show you guys. I mean like that. Okay, so it's an option. I love this one here with the rippled blue and sort of green in the background. And then you have the script on either side with the roses. And these are like almost like, um, they have a light pink to them, but they are that brown and gold sort of vintage, vintage grunge. And then we have this one here. I absolutely love this one. So this is like a soft sort of background, but I did this two different ways. So I did this like this, so if you wanted to um, have your journal page like that, you could. But then I also did it this way, top to bottom. So it's the same design, just top to bottom, side to side. So I just wanted to show that. And this one's a little bigger. So again, you've got your perfect pages there. Or again, you can rip it and tear it however you like. So some could be really great journal pages for your journal, and others are collage elements. And you, so you can use them either way. I love this too with the tattered uh, paper roses. My um, my husband gave me that idea, and then this looks like like layered wallpaper. So that was the effect that I was going for with that one. This one here is like a vintage bundle of. I made it look like a vintage bundle of papers, and then I added the roses on top. So I love this. This could be a journal page. This could be collage. You could use that any way that you like. It's just soft, neutral. Like that's what this kit basically is, guys. Lots of neutrals, and um, it 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 didn't take much ink to print. It's just a lot of pages. It's sixty, right? So it's like double what what you'd normally print, but um, it's it's just very eclectic, soft, and I didn't go crazy with the elements. So I kept it that it's roses. So that's the overall theme of it, but it's just focusing on like the grungy mixed media elements and the as you can see guys like my script it's not legible or anything it's just so much fun so like you could jelly plate over this and you could alter it different ways it's just going to be so fun to work with this kit i'm excited and this one here too with all the grungy tattered sort of um like wallpaper feel And this one here I love this one too with the blue popping in and the the browns and the neutrals and it's all tattered and ripped and torn looking I absolutely love how this kit turned out this one here that's a photograph of, a, of an old vase that my that my parents have and then I photoshopped it that it has roses in there and then um, I created the the scripted um, wallpaper looking background this one here is roses on a mixed media background. This one here too, and I love how torn and tattered the whole thing looks. Lots and lots of script. And they're all different, guys. There's all different variations of the script. Some of it's more fancy looking, some of it's more grungy, some of it looks like book pages, like this element here. I did I did it dark with, with like a gold look, and then I did... Um, the, the script and just bits and pieces so it looks like this is the bottom of this one and then it looks like this could go with that or um, to give it like a cohesive sort of look so it's just so fun and again this you could you could chop it different ways because again with the layers of the flower you can make it smaller or as big as you like so you could fussy cut that and use it as a focal point or rip and tear your text there's just so many things. Or again, it'll make a beautiful journal page. Just like that. And just like this. There we go. So it is quite big, so it's taking me a few minutes. But as you can see, they're all sort of the same sort of feel and that vibe of the text, the grungy roses, the mixed media. 
and just splatters and splotches and old wallpaper sort of feel. Some's more loose, some's more defined. So I just really love how grungy it is and how um, textured it came out. And I love this. I wanted to do like a sort of, like a, because you guys know, like my color palettes are that beautiful raw umber sort of um, colors. And I used um, my watercolor brushes in Photoshop and I, and I, so I faded it in and out like you've got um, variations of your color because how we get that with our golden paint or we get that with our watercolor. The darker you go, the less water you're using, the more water you use, the more washed out it looks. So like that's really the things I was focusing on with this kit, making it look as real as possible. Like I could have made this on a gel plate or something, or these could be pages of my art journal. So I just wanted to share that. So they, they're very organic. That's the word I'm looking for, guys. They're very organic looking. And again, all kinds of different elements. You could rip and tear this all different ways. I just love how that turned out, and it makes my rose pop off the page. Like, it's three-dimensional. So that was my goal, too, making things more more um, three-dimensional and more, um, more effective on um, pushing my style, I guess you could say. So I love this one too. So this has a little bit of pinks and a little bit of um, um, yellows. And that's not really too much my color palette. So like I really pushed myself too out of the box with this. So I did the gradient of the colors here. And then I um, I did like a, a ripping effect, if that makes sense, where I've, I've like ripped into uh, the, the page to give it that dimension. And then I added my floral here. So again, just a beautiful mixed media page that you can rip tear and do all kinds of stuff and this one here's texture so I've taken script and I've turned the script into into texture so I just wanted to share that so I'm really happy with how these have turned out and again you can use it as a book page like this like that or you can rip and tear it and use it for collage collage and your and your artwork this one here is a frame part of a frame so again, you could use that as a journaling space, or you can rip and, and tear it for all kinds of different elements. So I just wanted to share that. So I really love how that one turned out too. And again, more kind of script. This one's like super grungy. I've got some Greek in here, if you guys can see that. Super fun. I have um, a Greek font now for my program, so I'm super excited. This is another one of my favorites with that um, rustic, grungy sort of um, wallpaper, or even like it reminds me of like a backsplash on in a kitchen. Just that rustic, grungy sort of um, colors, and then I added the the roses in. So I really love that one too. And again, this one here, some photography. I took a picture of an old roll of um, wallpaper that my parents had in their old house. So I incorporated that here with some some paper roses and then I layered and tattered. Sorry guys, that's that whole page here. There we go. So I layered and tattered all the elements to create um, the different effects of the, the layered papers and them kind of rolling. So I just wanted to share that. Just super fun. And this one here reminded me of like um, wood grain. So I created that to kind of look like wood grain, and then I added the florals in. And this one here is like a large scale of that other one, where it's giving you that little frame. And then I have the gold roses in the corners. So again, you can fold it in half, you can rip it and tear it for collage, or you could use that like as a journaling page. And you could actually use it like this if you wanted to, guys. You don't have to use it um, the other way. You could use it this way, and then you can fold it and put it in an envelope, or like there's so many things that you can do. So I just wanted to share that. This is another favorite. So again, I've done some like frame elements or you can add like Tim Holtz people in here or you know, some of the guys like this and then do your own thing and make that into a, a collage. Just so fun. There's so many things that you could do. And again, the script and the grungy um, florals. 
this one here. And I'm just going to keep flipping through, guys, because we are running out of time. I have my kids coming home in the next few minutes, so I just want to get through this. I haven't posted these in my shop yet. I'm going to post these as soon as we're done our Facebook Live. So I just wanted to share that. So again, ripped elements with grunge and florals. I am just loving this kit. And you get 60 pages for the price of 30. So I just wanted to share that. This is really cool. This is also photography. And this is actually my great-grandmother's journal. So I just wanted to share that on a really cool plate at my mother-in-law's house. And I took that picture. And yeah, I wanted to incorporate it into into here. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's all handmade from Macedonia. So I just wanted to share that. And then I blurted out the script so you can't read it. And I've so, so I've layered it in my other sort of script instead of using her writing. So I just wanted to share that. So that is in fact from a photograph. This one here is grungy. And this one's fun. I made this look like a room. So this would be your um, <laughs> your uh, wallpaper. And then this would be your floor that the vase is sitting on. So I really had a lot of fun with this page because it's, I totally made this from scratch. And um, the inspiration came from actually like the, the trim that's in my house. And I thought that would be neat to make it look like like that. And then to to give it this element so it looks three-dimensional so this is like the floor and then we go up up the wall onto here so it's me just experimenting with some of my um my stuff in photoshop and my stuff in my uh, my art program so i'm really excited that um i could share some of these pages with you guys so this is me learning some new techniques with my with my um different brushes and elements and things so that's kind of a cool effect with that one and it's totally different and again, this one here just reminds me of um, old wallpaper, and it's all tattered and ripped and broken, almost like broken drywall. That was kind of the effect that I was going for when I created that. And then this one here, again, just grungy, scripted um, roses. I think that's the right way. Yeah, that is the right way. Okay. So that is... 60 pages and that is grungy tattered roses so this is the one that i had a problem with the files so i have it all ready to go guys i just need to upload it so i'm going to be doing that next as soon as i'm off this um this facebook live so just wanted to share that and then this one is our grungy mixed media backgrounds kit two so i'm really excited so the first one was amazing and um, it's actually up on my um, inspiration wall, and it's the one that I'm going to use to um, be the background to all of my collaging that I do up there. And I, I'm so excited to bring you this one, because this one is grungier and more mixed media than the other one. It's more scripted. So we have all of our alphabet sort of engraved. It kind of looks like it's engraved on here. And then I did an engraving of, um, uh, like, French florals kind of thing with them um, a vase okay and then the next one I've got some gold paint there I've got um, again that wallpapery sort of um, broken drywall sort of look and I love how I've done that where I've just gone in and um, kind of like folded it like it's paper if you guys can see that effect using different tools of mine in in uh, my program so I'm super happy and then this one has a lot of music notes so I wanted to share that so this has a totally different effect than the other kit but again very mixed media and very um very layered and this one here actually um is better to go in half and then you have um, more options of decorating your pages and more options of adding in different elements so I've done music notes in all sorts of different ways, but I've done them in my own way that they're not really music notes, but that's where it takes you, but they're my own elements. So I just wanted to share that. So as you can see, they have like this totally different feel to them where they're super grungy and they're super 
tattered. And I do have a couple pages that didn't make it into the other kit that made it into this one. And that's another one with the grungy sort of florals. And this one here with the mixed media music notes. And I muted them and I blended them out. So I love how that effect. It almost looks like you smeared water and you, you know, after you painted, you smeared water and you, um, sort of made them flow and blend. So I love this effect. This is like one of my new favorite things. So I just wanted to share that. This one here I love too with the roses and then the the um, the music notes and the mixed media. This one here is very loose. This one's very, I used a different filter. So I basically took um, my um, my floral sort of pattern and then what I did with it is I used a filter that made it look like it's um, like burnt or etched so I just wanted to share that and then so they pop over here and then I have that mixed media sort of element here you could make this into washi tape um, like your faux washi tape or you could um, rip them and tear them and use them as a border on something um, this is great for your um, your um, file folder elements for the you know the part of the foil folder that sticks up so then it kind of pops from everything else so I just wanted to share that this could be a journaling card or even a, a book page so there's so many things that you can do so that's like this this one here again watercolor and music notes so I just love how these pages turned out a variation of the last but again my folded sort of tattered looking papers and this one here with the roses and the music notes and the the faded I, I faded these so they look more like they're um, painted rather than it being like um, a bold image so they look like they're more um, blended and faded opposed to um, popping off the page so they blend kind of in and then I did the mixed media again with the textured script there we go this one here has florals over tiny florals over our uh, mixed media um, music paper so that's kind of the theme with this one guys music paper I still incorporated some of the florals these ones are more pinks so I'm pulling in more color to my roses opposed to just the the plain um, neutral um, feel of the other kit so I just wanted to share that so I kind of it's kind of taken that to a different level with this one and again my mixed media background and I've got black white and gold sort of gray tones um, feel in there with the background and again this one's meant for it to be folded all in half I was mindful of that with this kit so I more um, folded in half um, to be journal pages so I just wanted to share that both are very soft and grungy and easy on the printer. So again, another beautiful page of music notes. And this one here, and then with the rolled sort of wallpaper look there. And it kind of looks like this could be a continuation of here or to here. So I just wanted to show that, like from here to here. They all sort of have that flow where they could go together. So I just wanted to share that. Same with this one. But again, we have more of our pink roses here. So I have incorporated some florals. But um, it's definitely super grungy. So again, we have our grungy, um, ripped and torn um, sort of wallpaper look with our mixed media. So I love that. And this is one of my favorites here with all these layers. I just love this. It is so grungy and just so yummy. <laughs> yeah. So that's on a tighter scale. And then this is on a looser scale of the same thing. So I just wanted to show that. So they very much go. They're just a completely different look. That even reminds me of a color palette right here. So I just love that. And then I incorporated um, the same color palette into um, the tattered roses. And I just did them very loose and um, then with the music notes. So I just love that. This is another one of my favorites. This is like taking damask patterns to a whole different level. And I've got all kinds of gold and it's all super loose. Um, I drew most of this out myself, so I just wanted to share that. And then what I did was, um, I, it's like a splattered watercolor effect. 
So I just wanted to share that, but just again, it's just super fun. It reminds me of um, old Victorian wallpaper. And I love this one with the golds, and it's just very soft with the watercolor pages. And same with this one, soft watercolor pages, just amazing. It's super grungy, but yet um, this is kind of like my version of shabby chic, if if that makes sense, guys. Because as you know, I don't really do pink. I do like little pops of pink, but for me, it's more um, it's more all grungy and mixed media but it, these kits are very soft so you could do all kinds of things with these and then i love that one too and that's just layered pages of scripted text and um yeah and like wallpaper pieces that's what it looks like with little wallpaper pieces in there so again just very neutral very soft you can collage with these you can rip and tear them so i'm super excited so again Grungy Mixed Media Backgrounds Kit 2 is 30 pages, and Grungy Tattered Roses is 60 pages, so there's 90 pages total, and they are $10 each. So I just wanted to share that. They're $10 Canadian each. I will answer all of the comments after this Facebook Live, and then I'm going to upload these right now into my shop as soon as I'm live and you'll know when they're uploaded because I will post them right after right into group with the links and um, all the description of them so I um, thank you guys so much for joining me um, I am super excited again I've got some projects in mind for these for journals in the in the fall I want to do like a mini series with these with these uh, two kits and then the next one that comes I'm going to um, I'm hoping to have the next kit ready, I want to say mid-September, and that one is going to be Steampunk. I'm already about 29 pages into it, so I just wanted to share that. So it's getting there. It's not it's not quite done yet, but it's, it's almost there, and I'm super excited for that one, and it's going to very much mesh with, with these kits. So I just wanted to share that. You can pick and choose elements from... Um, from any of these and they all sort of play really well and uh, just to give you an example let's just do it randomly if you guys can see that two kits and they all just flow and you could and again mixed media backgrounds one you can take the elements and have them have them play with mixed media too so I just wanted to share that there's so many options okay thank you guys so much you guys have a fabulous weekend, and I will touch base with everyone soon. I am getting better every day, so I just wanted to share that. And hopefully I'm back to creating soon. I'm aiming to start my videos back in September, probably around, I want to say around the around the 20th, um, the 24th-ish. So I still have a few more weeks to to recover and to get better. So I just wanted to share that. So I'm hoping to be back soon with, with doing videos. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.